Hi guys, this is sort of aimed at the guys in the Philippines that are looking to bring their partner over to Europe or, well, Spain. Um, can you do it? Right now, I would say get in before the boat. You miss the boat, basically. Um, this whole Brexit... <sighs> Try not to say anything... Bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, the whole Brexit thing was mess things up in the next two years so right now you've got the last chance to get in um, because after that it won't be so easy uh, the reason being if you're on a British passport for example you can use the Schengen route um, now the reason the Schengen route is sort of useful for a lot of people is they're on a fixed pension so they won't meet the criteria to go back to the UK um, or you're a contractor like myself. I contract. I make a. I make good money. I could show my tax records for this year and last year and the year before. They're way over what the requirements are, but I don't have a fixed contract. Um, basically, it's like the last three months. Um, what's that? Yeah, the last the last three months. So that's yeah, the last three months I've made about fifteen thousand pounds in the last three months just on my contract work. That's not AdSense. That's not on my PayPal income. That's not on my investments. That is purely on my contract work. But they they don't see it like that. They want to see you on a nine to five doing some crappy job that I will never do. I got out of that years ago. I had the misfortune of working with Carillion on the on the books, um, which is why I went back off. Um, I don't do that. I'm not. I'm not into it. Um, I do contracts like now. You know, I work all day. I get the job done. I'll do work at night, and they get the project finished ahead of schedule. That's how I work. I'm, I'm not a clock watcher. I don't agree with this. Oh well, work nine till five sort of nonsense. Why? It's less productive. People look at the clock when they come in. They look at the clock just before they go. They're not looking at production. I work on projects. You give me a price on how much a project is. If I finish early, it's my money. At the end of the day, if it runs over, you're not paying for it. That's how I work. Um, I'm a contractor. As simple as that. So, But yeah, if you're on a fixed income, you've got about a two-year window right now. Um, Spain is probably one of the countries that's easier to work with um, in the sense that they're expat friendly. Um, it's not so simple to deal with the paperwork to go on the Schengen route purely because they, they're, they're a bit wise to it. They've also got problems with people coming from Morocco, people rolling up in boats or whatever on the shore. There's, I mean, literally... When you see these boats um, where you've got all these Africans coming over, um, and I say Africans because they are, they're not bloody Syrians, um, they're sort of rolling out onto the beach. You, you actually, there's been newspaper pictures showing people literally arriving on their holiday beaches from boats um, coming over from wherever. So that's why they're a bit um, hot on it. But at the same time, I find that if you can pay your way, you can you pay tax, you pay your social security, you got private insurance, they leave you alone. At the end of the day, they couldn't care less because you're looking after yourself. You know that's that's what they want. They don't want any blood, you know, bludgers, people looking to live off the state or trying to freeload where they can. They want people that are capable of looking after themselves, and that's why even from the UK, I've seen. I'm sorry, not just seen, I know multiple couples and families and whatever, they've moved to Spain because they don't trust the UK government. Um, and bear in mind, they've already moved to the UK, but because of all this Brexit fiasco, they have more trust in the Spanish system than they have in the British system. Yeah, and I agree with them. I don't trust the UK at all. Um, but yeah... My only advice is, if you're serious about it, you want to be doing it now and trying to get over as quick as you can because you need to get in the system, you need to get up to date, you need to have all your papers in order, and you need to be becoming Spanish because at some point there'll be a, 
the old drawbridge come down with the UK, which will make it very difficult because when they are no longer British, uh, sorry, they are no longer EU, um, it'll be very difficult to do that because the whole Schengen thing is based on the EU. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm just advising it because I know some people are there, oh, we'll do it in a few years. That option ain't going to be there. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Uh, the UK wants rid of all its immigrants, yet they prop up the NHS. They, um, I mean, I'm working at a university at the moment. Do you know what? The Chinese, predominantly Chinese students. So um, even here in Worcester, I mean, the Worcester University, they're, I mean, they may be British, but they're not, they're not uh, what I call Saxon British, that would be to put it polite. Um, but there's certainly a lot of Chinese and stuff here, which are proper Chinese. They're from China, Chinese. Um, so the point being is, I find the the Brexit things a bit strange, um, in the sense that a lot of the university investment that's going on is for private enterprise. It's coming out of taxpayers' pocket um, to fund foreign students coming to the UK. At the same time. That will not change, um, but people that are British with a foreign spouse are penalised for it. <laughs> no other way to put it. Anyway, enough of that. If you're going to do it, do it. Simple as that. Thank you.